Hello, it's me, your best friend from down the lane, Tyler Tafoya. Welcome to In the Round with Tyler Tafoya. With me, as always, my co host, Anna Ducci. Bwam, bwam, bwam. Thanks for being here, Anna. Of course. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, as always, uh, sponsored by Verb Energy. Check the link in the bio. You can get $13 off your first purchase of samples. Uh, Anna. Who's sitting next to you right now? It's Sean. Sean Condy. He's in the <laughs> studio today. Thanks for being here, bud. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit about Sean Condy. He is a writer, voice actor, performer, and puppeteer. He is San Diego-based. He has worked um, on many a project. You probably heard him um, on the Spider-Man Miles Morales video game. Um, he is... <laughs> He's a very talented voice actor, and we have worked with him many a time uh, as a performer at SeaWorld San Diego. Um, both of us have worked in many a Cirque show, and he's a he's a real swell guy. Thanks for being here, Sean. Thanks. I I, I really appreciate that you had to look down at the computer to remember that I'm from, from San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's from there. It is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, we're we're filming in in Houston. No, um, Sean, thanks for being here. We want to dive right in to the the world according to Sean Condy, um, and just find out a little bit about you and a little bit about your um, your upbringing in the arts. Uh, so bring us back, bring us back to um, baby Sean, and what did you? Yeah, how did you get involved in the arts, and what do you? You know, how far are we going back? As back as far as well. Back okay, as you want, honey. to no surprise <laughs> to anyone, I was a preemie. Oh. <laughs> there were complications. <laughs> there were complications, so my mom didn't actually get to hold me for three days. Really? And that's why I'm so cold and aloof. <laughs> and the best picture I have from when I was uh, a preemie baby, this yeah. is not made up. This is real. Is um, like apparently the best vein is like in your head when you're a little kid. Okay. And your head is still soft. Again, which explains more. So there's a picture of me, and they have like a styrofoam cup. Like a, taped to me because there's an ivy like going straight into my head. And you have a picture of that? Yeah. Oh my god. It's my gosh. earliest picture. And yeah, wow. my mom didn't get to hold me for a couple days. Oh wow. You were just hooked up to I everything. I think it was just yeah, I was too early. They just and they just throw me back in the oven for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you knew I wanted to be an actor. They stuck, uh, a, they stuck a toothpick in me and they're like, this took us a couple more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it. You made it, and you're here to tell the tale. And I'm yeah. happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you want me to go back to like getting before involved that. in entertainment? Yeah, yeah. Before, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Getting involved in entertainment when you got the bug. The How bug. Oh, got the theater bug. You got the arts bug. Yeah. As you, since I know you all mm -hmm. well, um, yeah. my I don't have a great memory, but <laughs> from what I can remember, like there were some times in um, I went to. <laughs> Stella Mars Academy, Whoa. which sounds very prestigious. <laughs> um, but my mom worked there as a teacher, so mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't afford it otherwise. But, yeah. um, and I think they would do like a Christmas show mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. So I remember I, being like a wise man or Did you have full, something. full beard? And I hope so. I feel like <laughs> I, at some point I had a tinsel beard. Yeah. A tinsel Maybe beard. I'm just wishing that for myself. I don't know. <laughs> when you look back at your childhood, yeah. you were already <sighs> full so tinsel glittery. beard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's when I knew. Yeah. And, um, and I remember specifically, mm -hmm. like the biggest memory I can remember is we were doing, uh, again... Oh, what was it? Uh, not Antony and Cleopatra, but one of those. Jump in if you know it. Julius Caesar. It. it but there's the. Um, Beware the Ides of March. Okay. Acrisius, where whichever uh, like old Greek story uh, okay. Acrisius is in. <laughs> Shout out any of you who know who Acrisius <laughs> is. Leave a comment below if you know. <laughs> <laughs> and us. so we like all had to. I think it was like seventh grade, and we yeah. all had to audition for the parts which okay. was just like say a line yeah <laughs> and i was the, the oracle i think it was the oracle of delphi wow you're getting and a sweet I education remember, in it was my first voice too because mm. i remember going um acrisius i've been expecting you and the teacher was like done <laughs> done 
Booked. You booked, booked <laughs> Broadway <and bust>. bound. <laughs> yeah. And oh the rest gosh. is history. Yeah. Just an uh, easy road. Of... <laughs> and and nothing has gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Well, I know your your mother is also um, part of the arts and very the, that heavily influenced you and you know did because she's she's some yeah you can can I. You can drink them. I have show. to do it like it's dangerous. Right <laughs> <laughs> okay. now? Yeah. Oh, I'll get you free. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And just your, your, your mother is teacher, you know, and she's very an artistic person as well. Does that influence you as well? Just yeah, wanting to be probably. involved in it? Yeah. Um, I think she was big into just letting me be me. Yeah. For better or for worse, you know. And um, Let that be a lesson to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and it was definitely a thing later in life. When I've like run into a lot of people who just really hate me, and <laughs> and I have a friend, uh, you know Vanessa Nelson, yeah. her brother Blake, we're mm -hmm. friends from college. Nice. And I would tell him these stories of like, man, I ran into this person and they really did not like me, and he's mm -hmm. like, you're like making this up. And he <laughs> saw firsthand one time like somebody just go off on me, and he and he How? just started laughing, and he's like, oh, you don't make that up. Like oh my people gosh. just don't like you. And so I asked my mom. Because she's the same way. Like yeah. some people just decide, and she's very like interesting, congenial, and yeah, and, and sweet and great. You don't, you're not doing anything intentional. No, and <laughs> she was like, I think we just march to the beat of our own drum, and some people yeah. really don't like that. <laughs> like okay, but but it's a it's a test in letting life happen, like just you know, you 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 march to the beat of, of your own drum, and we gotta learn to march with it. Yeah, get in or get out. Yeah. Because <laughs> this parade is going. And we have gotten in, baby. We are diving in today. <laughs> yeah, so um, so then sometime after that, uh, do the seventh grade thing, mm -hmm. um, my stepfather, who I just really consider my father, mm -hmm. and my mom had a kid together, yeah. Christian, and he was born with a congenital heart defect, and so he passed away. Shortly Sorry. after he was born. Mm -hmm. And so the O'Keefe's, which was like the, f we didn't even really know them because we just moved into this like really shabby house that they bought for mm -hmm. cheap, but Ron does like construction stuff. So he knew how to, he was to build, build it back it up, up and it yeah, took yeah. like years and years and years, but it looks really nice now. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and so the O'Keefe's, this wonderful family that were our neighbors across the way, like reached out to us mm -hmm. and were like, Hey, we heard you're having like a hard time. Our kids do CYT, like, would Sean be interested in that? Like, come see a show. Mm. And, and so, and that. And the rest was his And the rest, yeah. And I still, like, <laughs> when I think of how many people I talk to from, like, high school mm -hmm. or, or even from college, it's very little. Yeah. But I think of, like, all the friends I made in CYT, um, and it's just, and people that have, like, stuck around. Yeah. And You want to hear a wild story? Yeah. Yes. So, one of my first theater experiences in general was seeing Peter Pan with CYT one, the one at Claremont High with Tim Manns as Peter and I think you were Sean or you, you were Sean you were, <laughs> I was you were Sean and you were you played Smee yeah and that was my first that was your like, first one that was my first ever experience with theater and I was like I think I think we gotta do my parents were like I think we gotta do this now so, oh that yeah. was a really good show yeah that was a, that was probably one of the shows I've had the most fun in yeah you know did you yeah, what was, what's what's some dream roles you had growing up? Or, like, who was, you know... I actually really did, when I was growing up, wanted to be in Cirque de la, Cirque de la Mer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and eventually was in it. And if you've, was, you've been to SeaWorld in the last 15 years, <laughs> you're probably... <laughs> probably. Yeah. Tell, uh, us, tell us about Cirque. Yeah, I, I tried out one year and didn't get in, and then I tried out the next year with the help of... Um, um, probably Becky and mm -hmm. maybe I met Jeff later, but, um, they sort of just helped me with like, here's what's the audition. Here's, you know, sort of what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. They were really sweet. And, um, and it was super crazy cause it was like still during the day yeah. and it was five shows a day, like nonstop craziness. And that's when I was going to say when I had stomach trouble, but that's <laughs> been almost forever. That yeah. one part of the stomach trouble journey. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so just to like get through shows, I could, I had to like eat super bland food. Yeah. So I had was had like Trader Joe's oyster crackers, and in between <laughs> shows I was just chopping your face with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Um, because and for those who may be watching this, don't know the Cirque show is like, it, it's not a cakewalk. It is you are 
climbing things and you know it's where for the both of us we do the um sprites. it's the sprites that's the pre-show or the you know two funny <laughs> crazy clown characters <laughs> she knows um <laughs> but yeah it's just in a giant amphitheater and you are you know climbing and jumping and very being, physical yeah, yeah very big crazy. physical comedy stuff so but yeah yeah and it was it's it was super inspiring seeing you guys you know you and tony doing it because it was like you know seeing it for so many years and stuff like that and seeing you guys do it it was awesome well it was great to to have you even if it was just for it was for the one sh- just for a short time the one summer of 2019 <laughs> you can do the math um <laughs> uh did you have was there an actor or someone you wanted to be when you grew up Someone I wanted to be, mm-hmm. like just like take their, like possess have, their body. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you could be um, a demon, like someone I, can... I uh, idolize. Yeah, yeah. so like a, a person you wanted their career. Ooh, I think I still want Alan Rickman's career. Mm-hmm. He started later in life. Um, I mean, I think he did a lot of theater before yeah. he started, but I think he was in his first movie by the, when he was like forty-one. Getting into like mainstream that. when you're yeah, yeah, and I think his first movie might have been. Um, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves? Yeah. If not, maybe there might be. Was... The one that I remember is watching when he was the youngest was Die Hard. Oh, maybe it was Die Hard. Maybe it was Die Hard. And then no. next, maybe it was Prince of Thieves. But, but um, Love him. have you seen Prince of Thieves? It's both like really good and really bad at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> and he's by far the best part. Mm-hmm. And he sort of saves it because Kevin Costner as Robin Hood doesn't exactly <laughs> work. <laughs> Just Kevin Costner, yeah. Yeah, but like... <laughs> that he could walk this line of being a villain where, like, he's despicable, but you also feel bad for him. But he's also really funny, and you're also rooting for him a little bit. Just because layers. Yeah, because of... Robin Hood's just this, like, I'm pretty perfect. Uh, hey, it's me. <laughs> and he's just, wow, always frustrated. And yeah. then, obviously, that, that beautiful voice. Oh. What's your favorite performance of his? That's probably, I mean, everything he does is good. That's mm-hmm. great. Um, Snape is obviously legendary. Mm-hmm. Um, Hans Gruber from Die Hard. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, the, the Marvin, what's the one from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? He plays like the little oh, robot. Yes. I don't know, yeah. but yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to ask, since we were just talking about theme parks, um, cause we've, we've, we've done the. The big shows, the pathway shows, you know, that kind of stuff. What was your strangest interaction you might have had with a guest? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, the strangest one that comes to... I've had a, you come a lot. Mind. Yeah. I've had a lot, yeah, mm-hmm. which I'm sure you've all heard. Yeah, yeah. I think the weird, the weirdest one, you know, like something happens to you sometimes and it's you're so flummoxed or flabbergasted by yeah. it that you like, <laughs> I literally froze. <laughs> And uh, so I'm out there as an elf for Christmas, like a high-end elf. Yeah. You know, I've high got society like green elf. corduroy, like I look and whatever, not Ar- argyle socks. Yeah, like, yeah. What, I look nice. I look You've good. graduated from toys. You are now in yeah, like. Yeah, I look know. good. Mm-hmm. And um, we're talking, there's like at SeaWorld, there's uh, like, they have these bands come in. Mm-hmm. I think they're mostly high school the bands from all bands, around yeah. the U.S. coming into play for, I don't know, because they're often in another section, but every once in a while they come through. Yeah. So a bunch of them come through, and we're, and they're usually teenagers or preteens, and so it's really dicey, like, are mm-hmm. you, you know, youths, oh gosh, are you yeah. going to, are you going to be fun, or are you going <laughs> to, are you going to be, a, or, yeah, are a you lot. just going to be awful? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and so... We're talking to like a couple of them and, you know, I'm asking like in a, in a British accent because that's mm-hmm. what my character had. Like, oh, what, what you guys do? And, and uh, oh, I, I play this. I play that. And, yeah. Um, and I'm, oh, I forget how it, how it was originally set up, but, oh, no, no. So I asked, like, yeah, what do you play? <laughs> I play the, I play the trumpet. What yeah. do you play? I, I play the violin. What do you play? And the teenager goes, I'll play whatever you want me to play. Oh, no. And I'm with another, luckily I'm with like another um, actor as dressed as an elf. And so we're both like, okay. Oh. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to steer this away from not weird. Yeah. Uh, you know, to not weird. We're like, oh, well, what about like the bagpipes? 
<laughs> and he <laughs> takes my hand, puts my thumb in his mouth, <laughs> and then plays oh. my side like a bagpipe. And <laughs> I'm so, like, I can't believe that this just, <laughs> this just transpired. Oh that I'm frozen in horror, and then I look to the girl who's <laughs> working with me, and she is frozen. <laughs> Full mouth agape, like, oh, gosh. <laughs> and then he stops, and we both just go, <laughs> okay, well, I have to go in now. Oh, my God. And just walk away. <laughs> oh. What? What? The other really good moment, and I'll make it really quick. Yeah. Was. Um, <laughs> if it's just as good as that one, yeah, let's yeah. keep going. Yeah. It was Bobby, who you mm-hmm. know, and I. Um, and it was Christmas Day. Christmas Day? Yeah. It was oh Christmas gosh. Day. We're working at a theme park on Christmas Day. Already so sad. <laughs> 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 yeah. Opening and, presents. Yeah. Yeah. And we're trying to like. There's this family there, and they clearly don't want to be there either. All this, like, mm-hmm. teenage girls. Again, like, I should just never talk to youths ever again. Mm-hmm. And so she's, like, really grumpy, and we're like, why don't we go try and make her smile because it's Christmas. Yeah. And so we're, like, trying yeah. to, you know, she's, like, purposely being really pouty. So mm-hmm. we're, Bobby and I, who are probably the manliest of men that you know. Naturally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are are trying to make her laugh by, I forgot how pie came up, but we're pantomime. Bake, like full pantomime baking a pie, like all Put the steps. The yeah. No, not like no, no. We're making it first. We're whisking okay. it. <laughs> rolling out the yeah, dough. rolling out the dough. Dicing, yeah. And Literally. then we're fine. We're like getting her to smile just a little bit, and I'm about to put the the pot the imaginary pie <laughs> into the oven. And so I, I think I pull. No, we pulled it out. I pull it out, <laughs> and then we're like, okay, do you want a bite? And she's like, no. And we're like, come on. And we do like the little kid playing thing. Like, (laughs) and she's like, you know, like too cool. And she's like, no, stop. stop." And then all of a sudden I get shoved. By her? No, by the dad. Who was drunk Mm. on Christmas morning. (laughs) Great. Great combo so far. And he goes, and I'm not giving him a Southern accent. He had one. You don't touch my daughter. Oh. And I am frozen again. And then you went. (laughs) (laughs) And I, never breaking character, still in my British accent. um, I never touched your daughter. Baking her an imaginary pie. (laughs) Bobby, as soon as he saw conflict, walked away. (laughs) Immediately, immediately. Like, confrontation, (laughs) gone. Out. Bye bye. Come on. Oh my god. So You're I had to like to finally I had to fend and then, for yourself. And then you know um how well run SeaWorld is. And so uh security like didn't show up for a long time. Cause I went and like there was somebody who was supposed to be like looking after us. That mm-hmm. person was gone. Nobody was around. Yeah. Security finally came and then later I learned so they like finally moved him out of the area. Mm-hmm. And later I learned security came after me because they asked me, like, well, what happened? So, I mean, use you as an example. So I show him. I'm not like, you know, because I think he grabbed me and then pushed me. And later the security guy talked to whoever was in charge of entertainment that day and was like, you need to talk to your boy because he he touched me when he was showing me what happened and he shouldn't touch me. And it was like, (laughs) you're the worst. (laughs) They talked to you later, and you went. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so that's probably the more yeah the the stranger uh, ones. There's more, but I don't want to take any but more of your but time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you've also had had beautiful sweet ones too. Yeah, unfortunately, like the human mind is built to remember terrible stuff. <laughs> Truly, truly, like, yeah. like it kept us alive. Like, oh, mountain lion ate my friend. Right. Mountain lions are bad. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, right, right, right. we don't remember that cute time so we had with a puppy. So whenever you think about pie now, you're like. But there's been like, yeah, now I'm triggered by pie anytime. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it like, there are like um, relationships you build with people that come a lot. Yeah. Or just even somebody you met one time, mm-hmm. but they leave it like really enjoying what you did and you're yeah. like, man, that was, that was awesome. Mm-hmm. 
You know? I wish you could live in that forever. No, I got other stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of other stuff, we are going to take a pause really quick. We are going to show off one of our amazing artist spotlights. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the artist spotlight is a moment where we um, show off uh, up and coming artists or um, awesome talent. So we are going to take it to Michael Pinning. He is going to perform for us right now. Check this out. <laughs> Been around the block and I got bruises to show it I dove in head first and I came up broken I gave my heart to anyone I thought might be the one to deserve it I took that road ignoring signs of caution Everything changed when I hit your doorstep We shared the pain of all the love gone sideways and all the fear through every year that you and I were stumbling we'll Raise a glass to how we're both still standing Now the hard bits are worth the breaks And this love is worth all my mistakes And I'd go through hell again to find you in the end Now the hard bits are worth the breaks Took a leap and met with the crash landing Placed a bed and came out empty handed Till you came along, it all went wrong But I didn't understand it Getting to you is the reason I'm still standing Now the hard beats are worth the breaks And this love is worth all my mistakes and I'd go through hell again to find you in the end Now the heartbeats are worth the breaks, the breaks, the breaks I was hopeless, getting darker Then you noticed me fall into The cracks in the surface, the way a light shone through Now that i found you, I'll take the breaks, the breaks, the breaks Now the hard bits are worth the breaks And this love is worth all my mistakes And I'd go through hell again to find you in the end Now the hard beats are worth the breaks, the breaks, the breaks Awesome. Thank you so much, Michael. You can find him on Instagram and he is also on Spotify. That is Michael Pinning. Sean, hi. <laughs> We're back to you. Um, so we talked a little bit about theme parks and uh, our upbringing. Let's get right into voice. Let's get into some voice acting and talk about your mm. experience with it and, and what you love about it and all that jazz. Uh, I really like it because I can play characters that I would not normally be allowed mm -hmm. to play. You're not barred by the... Yeah, like Physical. even uh, maybe less so th theater. Uh, no, it's still theater, but like you, people can physically see you. Then, um, like, I would love to play Gaston. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and show people my arms. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to be playing Gaston anytime, anytime soon. soon. Yeah. Um, so if I can, but if I can do the voice, mm -hmm. you know, and so I've played. Which is a great voice that you do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who does she think she is? Um, see? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. All I, all I need is one of those, like the the Aladdin show, where they had like like the, the, the like big seven year old kids, yeah, wearing yeah. these like huge Muscly, muscle things. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, we'll get on it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. all I need. The next time you come on the show, we'll <laughs> <laughs> guess it. Yeah, so I can I could I've played like animals. I've played um, bad guys. Thugs. Thugs. I've played thugs. <laughs> and A lot of British people. Yeah. What's your th favorite? Yeah. What's your favorite character that you gravitate towards? Like, do you like playing villains more? Or do you like playing like... Yeah, villains are... I think I had to convince my agent to let me do villains. Oh, yeah? Because they just knew I looked so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't hurt nobody. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because the commercials usually like goofy or like just like 
your like your best friend who's telling you about this thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, totally. Um, but I can also play. Listen, I can play. Creepy I can play deranged. anything you want me to listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but do you like? Do you experiment with voices like in your free time? Do you try to like a hundred percent? One hundred percent. Yeah. In the shower, mm-hmm. in the car. Yeah. Um, I was listening to a podcast on the way up to uh, working at the safari park, and I got bored of whatever questions they were asking, mm-hmm. and so I just start like I don't know what I was. No, actually, I was practicing my lip sync song for the annual Albright lip sync competition. Yes. For those of you who aren't aware, the Albright lip sync competition is every summer. Uh, the Albright family, which John Albright, uh, our producer here, he puts on for his own birthday. Um, <laughs> and we all lip, sy- lip sync to songs and uh, judges uh, pick the winner. And it's it's a swell time that I hope the world will get to be on at some point. Yeah. It's, <laughs> You'll all know it. It's legendary. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell you that <clears throat> even though my... I was sick last year and didn't get to attend, and my video was put on the next day. Well, it didn't show that night, <laughs> John. Um, <laughs> that I did. My therapist was like, "Oh, I want to see the video." Yeah, and yeah. so I, I <laughs> sent I sent it to him, and the video is <laughs> has to you do with like, yeah. becoming a sea. C- a sea monster, <laughs> and then and then it's a lot of uh, clips from Marriage Story of like <laughs> of, of him yelling <laughs> and shouting and me pretending to cry. Oh my um, god! And after watching it, my therapist was like, and he's like so even keeled. He's like, I really liked it. I feel like I get you now. <laughs> That's my all-time favorite Sean story. That's like, so what does that say? He's like, yeah. okay, I feel like I fully get it now. But there, yeah, what was it? One of the years you, like, were doing your lip sync and then walked right into the pool mm. afterwards. Like, you go hard. Oh, get ready for this year. Oh, honey. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I've been practicing the voice for the lip sync this summer. Mm-hmm. And um, um, what else have I... Oh, what's his name? Um, a British guy. Uh, I can't think of his name. And I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> from TV or movies? From um, uh, uh, the. Take my let, let me go straight. <laughs> <laughs> um, Steve Coogan. Okay. Do you know? No, who I'm talking. <laughs> well, I was word. trying to get his voice. And it's very interesting. It's like a little bit. Mm. back here and yeah um you just get these so you can have them in your back pocket when an audition comes and yeah it's fun too because what's crazy about voiceover is uh, like last week i did uh, a voiceover and they had me do um like a sound alike so Mm. they play a clip of like here's somebody that did this character years ago we want you to sound exactly like this person as close as you can get but also they book you for a certain amount of hours Mm -hmm. and so once they're done with that they're like let's just have you do these other characters yeah. because they don't want to waste money. They totally. can do up to a certain like three or four characters before yeah. they have to pay you more. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and so they, you know, you just have to jump into it. Okay. Here You're going to be like a meek cockney guy. <laughs> and go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. You don't mean me nothing about it. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. what's, what's been your favorite uh, character you've played in voiceover? I don't know. The Spider-Man, Miles Morales, this sp- gangster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just in, uh, like New Yorker, just yelling at, hey, it's Spider-Man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> go get him, Spider-Man. <laughs> 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 um, the so the good. most recent one, mm-hmm. uh, Neo, The World Ends With You, which when I told my mom, she, every once in a while she likes to check in, like, has anything that you've done come out? Yeah. Because <laughs> you do it, and then like a year later it'll come out. Right, right, right. Oh, like, oh, Neil, the world ends with you. And she goes, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> and I play uh, Sheba. Sheba. Yeah, who is sort of like the um, the games master for these, the Ooh. Reaper games. And he sounds like this. <laughs> and what's his catchphrase? <laughs> People of, no, sheeple of Shibuya, I've got some red hot news for you. And they told me several times, well, (laughs) well, 
they told me several times while I was recording it, they're like, it's starting to sound a little sexual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, bring it, yeah. bring it down. <laughs> Just, so then you I can't help that I throw it off back. That, yeah. <laughs> can't help if I throw off that heat. Yeah, <laughs> that's your fault. Not mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I love that. Um, we're gonna take another little break really quick. We'll be back with Sean. We're gonna hear a little something from our sponsors. There's nothing more important in this life than you. So to make sure that you fully take care of yourself, make sure that you have the energy to do what needs to be done. So reach for a Verb Energy Bar. That's right, treat yourself right. Verb Energy, the energy that you need, desire, and deserve. Hug it, eat it. Nothing says energy like Verb. (laughs) Verb to do. Thank you so much. All righty, we are going to bring it back to Sean over mm. in the studio. <laughs> I would like to talk about your um, start into voice acting. Mm. How did how did you like Tyler said? How did you catch the bug? Yeah, so I, I think it was my uh, my high school one of my high school teachers, Joseph Narducci, and he. Um, like had somebody come in and talk about voiceover, which was really cool. And then like, he's sort of been a mentor to me. Like ever since then, we're we're friends now. We still talk. Um, He's created all sorts of opportunities for me. He still uses me for voiceover for the company that he works for, which is really cool. He's a director. And, um, and so learning a little bit about that. And then in college, I did like radio for a little bit. I had like a, I think it was like 11 to midnight or something like that, like a radio show. Yeah, it was, and it was just like CYT people that I knew calling in and, (laughs) and being ridiculous. Yeah. (laughs) And, um, and then at some point in my 20, I thought it would just happen. Like I can do voices. It don't just happen. Yeah. (laughs) And then at some, yeah. yeah. And then at some point I was like, oh, I need to take like coaching and start taking some coaching, going up to workshops up in LA and, it's not a quick process. It's, Mm-mm. it's, it, I don't want to like be one of those people where it's like, it just happened overnight. Those people yeah. are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and the agent said, you're going to Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. It's years and, and still working towards, uh, you know, wanting to be even further. You want to keep growing. But, yeah. um, when did you sign an agent? Mm, four plus years ago or something like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Significantly into your process, would you say? Um, I, I think once I started the coaching, it was probably like a year, maybe less. Because like I was great at voices, but unfortunately I didn't, <laughs> even though doing all the uh, CYT and all of that, they didn't actually teach a lot of acting. Mm. Um, and so just having to like fine tune that and finding a good teacher, mm-hmm. the first teacher or coach I had, was just like sort of harsh and that's not my vibe. Yeah. <laughs> and so I found a really awesome guy, Richard Horvitz. He's the voice of like Invader Zim mm, and stuff. Awesome. And he's just like, makes it all about playing pretend and is so like um, nurturing and, and. Well, that's the thing you, you, it's still acting. Like people think yeah. it's just like voices, but it's like, you're still like. Yeah. 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 And Yeah. Yeah, so you have to be able to do both. Or be like H. John Benjamin, who's like Bob's Burgers and mm-hmm. Archer. He really just does his voice, but his voice is pretty great. Yeah. And he <laughs> knows how to act, and so he can just be. Yeah. So if you're into voiceover and you want to do it, don't feel like you have to mm. have a great range. Some people don't, and they do just fine. They're doing great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What would your method for characters be? Like when someone says, this is the character you're going to be, what would your approach be to taking in that character and embodying it if it was for an audition i like i really like looking at a picture because i don't know just like seeing a physical manifestation of it you're like oh okay i think it would sound like if you're playing richard i know your story yeah (laughs) what richard would talk about is like it's really just playing pretend right like when you were a kid and you Mm -hmm. never questioned if you were doing it right Mm -hmm. his big like example is like if you're 
believed you were Superman, you were Superman. And no other kids were like, you're doing Superman wrong. Right. <laughs> like, you just were a Superman. So yeah. you just have to, like, believe it. But, look, yeah, seeing an image and being like, oh, I think, I think they would sound... I'm sorry, John. Am I going on too long? <laughs> John Albright, ladies and gentlemen. We got a, we got a world-weary sigh. <laughs> what would you say some differences or similarities are between your work in theater and your work in voice acting? I think, um, great questions. I think, <laughs> I think your theater, you have like, you get all this time, all these rehearsals to practice with each other and really yeah. like hone the character. Voiceover is the exact opposite. Voiceover yeah. is you have, I've often don't even know what the project is because it has like a code name when you audition for it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't even hear back for like a month or something like, Hey, you, you booked project. Xenon or you'll find out when you get in the yeah, room. And yeah, and so you, you show up and they're like, Okay, you're you're like for the the, the Spider Man one. Yeah. And they're like, Okay, get ready for it. It's Spider Man and I was like, Yeah <laughs> so they're like, Hold, yeah. wait for it <laughs> and you're playing Street Thug number four. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> fight Spider-Man. And so it that's like where that practice of like, you know, improv and stuff like that and mm -hmm. having some stock characters yeah. ready to go where you just sort of hit the ground running. Yeah. Like, okay, I can do a like New Yorker, New Jersey mm -hmm. sort of accent. I can gruff it up and now I just need to yell at Spider-Man a whole lot. And, yeah. Yeah. And, and the director was really great and she can sort of steer you where you, where you need to go. The same as far as like it's still acting it's just like a different flavor of it i feel like they're on different sides of the spectrum you know yeah. theaters over here voiceovers is over here and then film is some a little bit somewhere in the, somewhere middle. In the middle yeah yeah totally yeah Good. um i'm sure you get the question oh do do this impression do this yeah. impression what is your favorite like party trick your your first thing that you pull out when someone's like <laughs> do something i don't i don't think people ask me a lot to do it so throw out to all of me. Yeah. <laughs> so whenever you see Sean on the street, <laughs> throw that thing. <laughs> do the right thing. Um, I like, and this is a request for John Albright, to when I do some of these, will you put a picture about, uh, of it? <laughs> um, <clears throat> it usually takes me a while to get into them, but I love, like, um, um, Sir Patrick Stewart. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it was, very, it was very nice to talk to you all. <laughs> um... Um, PJ. PJ from Goofy. From, from yeah. Ah, uh, wait. <clears throat> I should have warmed up. Ah, <laughs> uh, Max. Come on, man. Max. So good. Max. Max. PJ, what? Max. <laughs> I'm a bear. Yeah, PJ, I know you're a bear. No, We're all no, animals. No, no, Max. I'm not a dog, man. I'm a, I'm a bear. You're, I don't know what that means, no, man. No, Max, I'm, I'm pleasantly plump. <laughs> And I'm hairy, <laughs> and I like other dudes. <laughs> I'm a bear, man. Oh, okay, man. Okay, okay. Um, Love that. I could, I could, like, Alan Rickman a little bit. I mean, I don't think he'd do it, like, 100%, but, you know, um, careful. People will think you're up to something. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's some other ones. Mm -hmm. your, job, your job of the night is good oh only if you'll be my salacious crumb <laughs> oh done I'll do it after you ready okay wait woka chico black mochi paka Never <laughs> and on that note, we are going to move on to our game. Yeah, we are. Which Tyler and Sean are going to do for us. It's going to be a little bit of a flashback, shall we say, to something that we would do during breaks yeah. all together. And we, it's we called call Flashback Players. <clears throat> this is us. Ready? Flashback? Flashback. flashback. Okay. So Where we, are we supposed to be looking? Are we looking anywhere? We can look Just at, at each other? Okay. The cameras don't exist. Just look at me, hon. <laughs> oh, will the microphones not pick us up if we're not... If we're, if we're not next to each other? Yeah. Um, I think we'll be okay. But we have to be sitting? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Well, which, I mean, we'll do, we'll do the climax of which that. One are, which one are we doing first? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to... <laughs> edit. I already forgot. <laughs> So basically what it is, it's essentially charades, um, which um, 
Yeah, and we'll just have to guess what ridiculous uh, movie or thing we're doing right now. Are you there? <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, here we go. This is We have three. This is the first one. Here we go. Did you do it? Yeah. What did it cost? Everything. Let's see. You're baby Gamora. I'm baby Gamora. <laughs> <laughs> what did it cost? What did it cost? Okay, second one is beautiful. Um, okay. Mm. What do I say? You guys are loud whispers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here. So, where are you from? <laughs> from out state, from out east. From out east, where? <laughs> Different places. Showgirls. <laughs> 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 yeah. Show okay, I know the next one. Okay, Wait, hold go. on. Should you, do yeah, you want to go off camera and then come back on? Yeah, will I be in frame? No, you'll be fine. Can I just walk right here? He just needs a costume change. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be. Father? Why'd just, you hit your father? Just let the past die. Kill it if you have to. Hey, eyes up here. <laughs> what? I, eyes up here. Oh. <laughs> okay, Kylo. <laughs> Kylo Ren. Yeah. Yeah. With his pants up to here. Yeah, I tried. Yeah. I tried. 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 I Thanks for being here today, bud. Hey, thanks for having me. Anna, you did great. <laughs> you look good up there. That was awesome. Thank you. Um, guys, thank you so much for being here today. This is we're doing it this camera. This is great. Um, uh, like, like always, the arts is a place to heal and to uh, tell stories and connect with each other. And we hope we can provide that for you guys. Um, Follow us at In The Round with Tyler Tafoya on Instagram, Facebook, and smash that subscribe button on YouTube. Just smash, smash it. Um, you can find Sean on the Miles Morales game on PS4. Um, you can also find him, um, quick plug, for um, Improv on Tape. Mm-hmm. And I forgot to say. That's uh, true. Improv on Tape, uh, you can find on all streaming platforms. It is a... Uh, you get it's a it's a how many of you guys it's like five or six something like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> bunch of them um get together and they improv a uh, bunch of different pop culture harry potter willy wonka there's some fun ones in there it is not for little children it's not for <laughs> yeah the youth um watch it listen it listen stream it it's really <laughs> funny our good friend chris ninnis heads that up and he's great and sean plays willy wonka in one of them he's really funny hold my hands Charlie. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, As always, you guys are the best. Check out Verb Energy, and we'll see you around. Get it?